I'm at Fort Stevens State Park at the southernmost battery that I know of. This is Battery Russell. Um, I don't have a map of this battery here, but there's um, part of it right here at what I would call ground level. And then the hill ahead, I think is artificial where they built the battery and then um, put some more dirt on top of it to hide it. Or maybe I got that backwards, but either way. So as you can see, it's a concrete building right in the size of the dirt. It's been abandoned for quite a while. The cool, what's stupid, it's officially open at 8, it's 7.30. I had no idea it didn't open until 8 or I wouldn't have been here this early. Whoops. Actually, before I go in, let me look at the entrance real quick. So yeah, it's a nice concrete here. Look at the ceiling, it's like 18 inch thick concrete or something like that. Same thing, the walls here are like three foot thick concrete. It's really cool. It's a nice big entrance there, doorway. I heard a bird. What's weird, look at that little hole there. I'm not sure if that's for a air vent or what. I think there are instructions in there. Uh, okay, I'll look in the doorway first. Just sort of a concrete bunker. Ooh, ah. Pretty good condition, I would say. All right, I guess I'll go ahead and go in here. I like these abandoned buildings without the lights, they're so cool. Okay, so these aren't connected. These are just sort of, uh... huh, this one's metal. They sealed it off. Interesting. All right, so let me pan up, look at the ceiling. Oh, wow. I don't know if that's an air vent or, or a periscope or what, but look at that. It's maybe six inches diameter, but it goes up dozens of feet. Looks like it's plugged up there. That's really cool. I hear birds in the other room. I'm gonna try not to disturb the wildlife, but anyway, if they don't like it, they can leave. There's some kind of hole. No, I don't know what it's for. The mystery hole. Okay, if you're afraid of spiders, close your eyes, because I just got a jackpot. Look at this. There's a cool little spider here. Couple big spiders up there. And then the one I originally saw was a spider up there. There's a nice big spider right there. Wow. Yeah, if you're afraid of spiders, don't get anywhere near here. All right, anyway. Okay, the bird I heard just left. Oh, one of them, I hear another one. I'm gonna ignore him for a minute. Kind of cool, it's like a doorway, but it's sealed. It's probably for this one to swing open, I'm not sure. Notice I got like a wooden frame on this window. Even soldiers gotta breathe oxygen, right? Uh, at least with today's technology. <laughs> Ask me again after Skynet takes over. So look at this. Up there on the ledge, there's like two little, uh, I think those are called barn swallows. I normally try to leave the wildlife alone. I'm gonna see if I can get it. Pick these up on video, okay. Sure they'll hang my guts, but they'll survive. Let's go on up there. Do you guys need to be petted? Huh, interesting. All right, well anyway, let me look at this mystery hole here. I think that's the same one I saw for the other side. Interesting. Here's another uh, window that's been patched up by some metal. Oh, wait a minute, hang on a second. Nope, that's concrete. That's what I thought, but the only way to know for sure is to check. Wow, now we're having fun. I swear this part looks like little coffins, kind of creepy. But anyway. Some kind of mesh on this window here. I think I've been on a tour, so I knew what all this stuff was back in the day, but not lately. See, here's that window that was sealed from the other side. Yeah, that's relatively new, I think. I'm not ever sure. sure. It doesn't look familiar. Look at this, there's sand here. So this chimney, it goes like way up there. Wow. Hopefully I can find that from above. Of course, it's sealed. I don't see any natural light coming down. This will be kind of cool to check it out. 
This, of course, is just some mystery doorway. All right. By the way, it is not spring. Those birds up there are not like baby birds stuck there. They can fly away. Oh, here's a bird. Look on the little ledge right there. What's up? He's like wondering what he's looking at me for. I'll try to be nice. What's up? Anyway. There we go. Nice bird. All right. Anyway. Cool. I'm surprised you didn't fly away. Okay, so there's the lower level of the uh, Royal, just kidding, Battery Russell. So, obviously the upper level would be up the stairs. Since there's nobody else here, let me see if I can just do it in one big video. Nobody will photobomb me. Last time I was here, I did it in the winter, so there's no crowds. This is um, the end of the summer, so it might be pretty crowded later today. Now there's the main Battery Russell right there. First, I want to go over here and see if I can find the air shaft or whatever that was. It's probably blocked off. Yeah, see? Look at this. Over here in the lawn, there's like a concrete thingy here. Concrete thingy there. That's a technical term, thingy. I'm guessing these are the skylights or ventilation shafts or whatever to battery Russell. Obviously, they're sealed off. So. Never mind. So let's go over to the good part. Now this has at least two levels, I think three levels. I'll go ahead and start at the bottom and work my way up for lack of better ideas. Since there's nobody else here, I'll go way over here to the left so you can get the wide angle view. It's a nice lawn over here. It's nice and quiet here. I see they've had some problems with vandalism. They've been painting over. That's why on the main part of the fort, the historic part of the fort, they have it sort of blocked off. It's like guided tours only, and it's only open during the day and stuff. Protected from stuff like this. It's really sad that vandals want to come here and ruin history. Well, you see there's this level here, and there's a middle level and stairs up to the top, the roof. So it's a really cool place. You take kids, let them run around, wear themselves ragged. Of course, it's like a quarter of a mile from the beach, so a lot of people might rather just go to the beach. The beach here is really flat though. There's no tide pools or anything, so it's kind of boring. Definitely better beaches, but it's a huge beach and you're allowed to drive on the beach here, so that's kind of cool. David Russell. No, I don't know what's so special about David Russell. Somebody pretty important, I suppose. All right, let's see if there's anything cool in here. Oh. Hmm, concrete. Ooh, ah. Uh. I've actually made a 3D model of this place. It's still fun to go through it again and see it in person. These here, I think, where they had lamps for illumination. I think they had, uh, like, not kerosene, but 